Okay, uh, so the last question was, can this pumping frequency stimulate this electron to fall? So the answer is no. Because look here, the energy, energy of this photon is E3 minus E1. Okay. Energy of this photon is E3 minus E1. But the energy of this photon is E2 minus E1. Are they similar? No, they are not similar. So in the note, we mentioned that if the energy of emitted photon and stimulating photon is equal, then only it will undergo stimulation. So here, uh, it doesn't undergo stimulation. So now can we set up an inverted population? Now can we set up an inverted population? Yes. The reason is, uh, in the first hand, this pumping radiation won't stimulate. Okay. Therefore, we have overcome that problem. And the second thing is, uh, when we compare, when we compare these two energy levels, this is a little stable. So that is how it got its name. It got its name as metastable because this level is somewhat stable. Therefore, uh, there is a possibility most of the electron is in this level. Okay. So draw this diagram. <clears throat> so here the pumping frequency pumping frequency is equal E3 minus E1 upon H We know that. Let's write down. <clears throat> when compared, when compared to level three, level two, the electron, the electron is long lived. That means it can stay for a longer period of time. Therefore, therefore, uh, it is referred, it is referred to as metastable, metastable state which helps which helps to build up which helps to build up an inverted population an inverted population <clears throat> Next point. So now uh, there are a lot of electron in the level two. Okay, there's a uh, inverted population already set up in the level two. The spontaneous emission, the spontaneous emission of an electron, spontaneous emission of an electron from level one, from level two to level one, from level two to level one, will eventually 
will eventually cause stimulated emission cause stimulated emission in other atoms in other atoms the energy of emitted photon the energy of emitted photon E is equal E2 minus E1. So here, uh, I already mentioned that this level, this level is comparatively stable than this level. Okay. So when you are stable at a certain level, you can stay there for a longer period of time, right? When compared to a lower stable level. So when we compare level three and level two, level two is a bit stable. Therefore, the electron can stay for a longer period of time. When I say a longer period of time, it is not that much longer. Uh, if you just surf the net, I remember as if it is 10 to the minus 9 seconds. So it is a very short period of time. Even for this short period of time, it won't stay in this level. Okay. So level 2 is comparatively long lived than level 3. Okay, Najima. Did you get it? Once you have noted, let me know. Najima, how about you? Uh, in the second term paper, you might get up to Doppler effect, right? So that is all about laser. Is the idea of laser clear? Just go through the note and see if you are clear with the idea. Because uh, this part is a bit theory, but uh, whatever we are going to study after this is questions. So those questions, it won't be hard here because it is theory, you might have some confusions. MCQs and structure and essay. Okay, inshallah, I will drop a message in the group and let you know, okay?
So uh, I'll go through what's laser. So laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So we here, uh, when light interacts with a material medium, three things can occur. That is absorption, spontaneous emission, and stimulated emission. So we know what is uh, absorption. Absorption is when an electron absorbs energy that will match exactly between these two levels, difference between these two levels. If it matches, it will absorb that energy and get excited. If it is greater or lesser, then it is not going to absorb this photon at all. Okay. It doesn't absorb partial photons. It will only absorb a complete photon. Next, spontaneous emission. We know this level is unstable. Down state is stable. When we have an excited electron, it always wants to come back home. It wants to come back to the ground level. When it wants to come back to the ground level, it has to release the energy. And when it is releasing the energy, it releases in the form of photon. So that photon is going to have this amount of energy, E2 minus E1. So uh, another process that could occur is stimulated emission. So in stimulated emission, we have two atoms. So here you don't need to necessarily have an atom. What you need is a photon. Okay. If the approaching photon, if the approaching photon matches the energy difference between these two energy levels of an excited atom, then it will stimulate this electron to fall down and release a photon. What's special about this stimulated emission is the released photon and the photon that is approached, the approached photon. Both of them are in uh, same phase and same direction. Therefore, we call them as coherent. Okay. So, energy of stimulating photon and emitted photon is similar. That's the speciality. So, using these three processes, let's see how a laser can work. So, in a laser, I want to get coherent light. To get coherent light, I need stimulated emission. So, we want to arrange that uh, emission of photon in such way that stimulated emission is greater than spontaneous emission. That is the basic idea of the laser action. Why do we need to do that? Usually, when light is traveling through a medium, its intensity will keep on decreasing because the material is absorbing the light energy. But here, the opposite has to happen. When this light is traveling through the medium, its intensity has to increase. That is the purpose of this stimulated emission. But to achieve this, we have to uh, create an inverted population. We want to have more excited electrons, which is opposite to the normal condition. Normally, all the electrons will be in the ground state, but here, but here, uh, the uh, electron is in the excited state. So we call them as inverted population. So to set up an inverted population, we use a method called optical pumping. So in optical pumping, we eliminate the material and that material should have a frequency corresponding to this value. The energy difference between the levels divided by H, that is the frequency of the radiation. Now, there's a problem here. The problem is when we have a two level system, when I'm pumping, when I'm pumping, at the same time, this excited electron might get stimulated and it might fall back. Therefore, I'm not able to set up an inverted population. To overcome this problem, 
we are using a three level system so in a three level system we have three energy levels we pump the electron to level three to pump to level three we need frequency equal to this e3 minus e1 over h so we call this frequency as the pumping frequency but this level three and level two when we compare these two levels level two is a bit stable therefore electron falls back to level two it happens spontaneously you don't need to provide in any energy it will release energy and fall when we compare this energy level in this energy level it is uh, set up or it is manufactured so that more electrons the electron can stay for a longer period of time comparatively a longer period of time therefore we call this level as metastable so uh, not only in this atom right in multiple atoms in multiple atoms the same thing can happen more electron will come to this metastable energy level from there if one of the electron so in this atom the electron is ready to fall so there might be several atoms where the electron is in the metastable level so when one of the electron falls when one of the electron falls it will stimulate all the electrons i mean all the electrons in the other atoms who are in the metastable state to uh, fall down okay so the energy of the emitted photon will be equal to this hope that is clear write down the application of laser <clears throat> so we are using laser in various fields in medicine we used to destroy kidney stone correct eye vision for cancer diagnosis and treatment okay once you have noted let me know Once you are done, let me know. <clears throat> And write this note also. Once you have written the application, write these notes. Uh, look, place is a light 
therefore shows all characteristic of ordinary light. So what we can do on ordinary light, we can reflect, we can diffract. We discuss a certain characteristic, right? We can do on light. So all those characteristic on laser also it's possible. The reason is it is also normal light. Okay. The only difference is it is amplified. All the light is in uh, same direction. All the light is coherent. That is the only difference. The photon of a laser and that of ordinary light of same color has same energy, frequency and wavelength. That means, let's say we have a red color light. From red color light, a red color photon is released. Okay. Let's say the uh, photon in a frequency is F. Then E dash is the energy of the photon. So that is E dash is equal HF. Now we have a laser. This laser is also producing red light. So frequency of this laser red light is F. The energy is uh, E naught, let's say. So E naught is equal HF. Look, these two energy is equal. E dash is equal to E naught. That means the photon of a laser and that of ordinary light of same color, that is very important, same color has same energy, frequency and wavelength. All of them are similar. The only difference between laser light and ordinary light is that photons of laser is coherent. Okay, but that of ordinary light is incoherent. That is the only difference between laser light and ordinary light. So this is also, the last note is also obvious, right? The color of laser light depends on the energy difference between the levels of the material. So if the energy difference between the level is high, then it will be more to the blue color. If it is less, it will be more to the red color. Okay. Are these notes clear? One, two, three, four. All these four notes clear. Once you have copied, let me. So with that, laser part is over. So you can try uh, the questions in the past paper. Uh, there is no much calculation and sum. Most of the question is statement, statement wise question. So to answer statement, uh, statement wise question, you should have a good knowledge in the theory. So this part, when you study for the first time, it might be a bit confusing, but just go through and see. It's really easy.
uh, in your place book i think in 2019 you have a question can you send that question in the group Your check in two thousand nineteen. Please noting down. Yeah, two thousand nineteen. Um, upload the question to the group now, Jimmy.
Did you want to rephrase the question? Let me see you. You have a paste book. In the paste book, you must be able to find it quick. Yeah, give me a minute. So this is the question. Answer the following statement regarding a three level laser system having energies E1, E2, E3 as shown in the figure. Uh, the laser action occurs between energy levels 2 and 1. How was statement A correct or wrong? They say the laser action will occur in this energy level. Yes, right, because that is when the photon is released. So this is correct. Statement B. Statement B. Uh, this is the 2019 version. The frequency of pumping radiation is E3 minus E2 over H. Is it correct? Statement B. How about statement B? Is it correct? The frequency of pumping radiation is E3 minus E2 over H. E3 minus E2 means the difference between these two levels, right? But the pumping occurs from level 1 to level 3. Therefore, statement B is wrong. Statement C, level 3 is known as metastable. Level 3 is known as metastable. So, uh, level 2 is known as metastable. Okay. So, this is also wrong. Then, uh, the answer has to be only A. Yes, level 2 is metastable. But here, they have mentioned as level 3. Okay. So, this is from 2019. This is the question. Hope it's clear. So just go through the note. Uh, only the laser part is much theory. The next part we will start is refraction. In refraction, we have to do a lot of uh, examples. So it's calculation. It will be easy. <clears throat> so go through the theory. Uh, if you have any part that you're finding it hard to understand, you can ask, okay? So for today, I'll end this session. Assalamu alaikum.